Alright, so I got bored today, and among other things I accomplished in Elite, I decided to go for the shot cannons, because they are a very unique weapon, mechanically speaking, and I hadn't had the opportunity to play with them. I would noticed that a lot of reviews were kind of lacking as to some of the finer elements of its mechanics, so I figure, having done a couple of practice runs with it, that I'd just go over what you should expect if you try to play with this weapon. First thing I gotta say right at the gate, shock cannons are a phenomenal way to avoid high level weapons engineering. And they have a phenomenal amount of DPS, comparable with some of the short range blueprints. So let's see what we got over here. Federal assault ship. Is he wanted? Yes, but he's in a wing. He's in a wing with. NASP Exploder. Alright. So, shot cannons are kinetic based, so you have to be careful about shields. Since this guy doesn't have shields, this will be quick. As an off the cuff demo, just watch this guy's hull. Rip. Where does Buddy go? The ship is equipped for AX combat previously, so I have chaff on it. I just literally slap shot cannons on where there used to be Guardian plasma launchers. Watch this. Now you'll note as I get on the trigger, since it's a semi-automatic weapon, you need a trigger pull for every single projectile that comes out of these cannons. There is a bloom that, that spreads out the more that you fire. And you only got 16 shells in a clip, so you have to time your shots wisely. However, there is an autoloader baked in. If you pace yourself really well and only fire at opportune moments, the autoloader can sometimes keep up. But if you really lay into someone, you're going to run out of your magazine pretty fast. So, strategies with a shot cannon. Even though the weapon is capable of being used at range, I don't recommend it because the reticle bloom on it is going to absolutely kick your ass. You probably won't hit the thing that you're shooting at, and shot cannons have one critical weakness that makes up for their phenomenal just short of 83 damage per second, and it is that they lack the kinds of ammo reserves that let you loiter in a hazardous for long periods of time, so it is very much a boom and zoom type of weapon. So yeah, I recommend that you do what I'm doing, close to within a half a kilometer, and just unload on the guy when he's right in a good position. Dump your magazine, check your pips, be ready for the guy to counter maneuver. If you're in a small ship, you're probably going to be able to get it under control right Even though these things are doing kinetic damage, disadvantaged against shields, they're doing a lot of work. If you had a larger ship with more capability to deal thermal damage in addition to your two large hardpoints, something like a Chieftain, you could make this work pretty well and stretch your ammo reserves a lot farther. In fact, one of the next ships I'm probably going to build is going to be a Chieftain with shot cannons because I've been pretty impressed with the capacity. The trick with them is to be patient like I am being. Play with your pips, get into a good firing position, dump everything you have on the guy and then be about it. You get good at doing that and you'll be pretty successful with shock cannons for about 10-15 minutes tops and then you're going to run out of ammo. So if you're using this to do bounty hunts, you have to be prepared to make a lot of trips back to whatever the nearest resupply point that you have is. In my case, I have a fleet carrier, so I rarely ever have to travel more than a flight second to get ammo. But it still breaks up combat and it can get kind of tedious. On the upside though, you could build an absolutely devastating vulture with these things since their power draw isn't all that bad probably wouldn't need to do all that much engineering in order to, to PvE pretty effectively. It's just a question of how much you're willing to put up with. 
shock cannons are very high maintenance items and while you can stretch their loitering time with synthesis you need to be aware that um, synthesis is expensive and it's almost exclusively manufactured materials which can be a little bit harder to get effectively meaning that if you want to build up a whole bunch of synthesis to use with these things you need to farm high grade emissions and then go to a materials trader and trade for exactly the things you need. There is no difference between the basic standard and premium synthesis except that the cost of each particular unit in the synthesis blueprint goes up. So instead of needing three grid resistors for basic synthesis you need seven for the premium. You get a 10% damage bonus buff which on 83 damage per on um, yeah, 83 DPS, 10% uh, buff gets you almost to 100 DPS. So you can paste some of the grade five engineered plasma cannons in this or sorry, plasma accelerators in this game. If you're willing to put up with the ammo, which I, I'm a little frustrated with. Between that and the synthesis, I think that you have a weapon that's better suited for assassination missions. If you like doing high level pirate hunts. This is the kind of weapon that gives you the DPS class that you need to absolutely rip high level pirates a new one. You could probably safely engage five or six high level ships in a row, but that's really pushing it. I would, if you're not very skilled at this, I would plan on engaging three or four. And that's not large ships, that's like a mix of maybe one large, a couple mediums, and some smalls. Speaking of smalls, this Cobra 3, if you're firing into small ships, you can absolutely own smaller targets. The trick is making sure that you can get them to expose the widest cross-section possible, because the Cobra's more maneuverable than I am. I have to make sure when I fire, it's um, he's got his back to me. So when he gets his front on, the reticle bloom starts to come back to me. It's hard to Pip management with shock cannons is very forgiving. Since they're kinetic, they don't draw a lot of power, but they do produce a surprising amount of heat. If you're not careful, you can very easily find yourself north of 150% heat, especially on ships with lower heat capacity. You can use them at range if you fire in short control bursts. Your DPS goes down, and that's not always going to be a good idea. Here with the Cobra, I know I can get hit, so I'm taking advantage of the situation. But as you can see, I am already running low on ammo. Vipers are awful. If you get the opportunity to pick your engagements, I'd be very careful about trying to fight Vipers with shot cannons, because they're maneuverable enough that if you're using a fixed mount, you're going to have a hard time getting hits in. In other situations, especially against medium ships, I mean, fixed mounts are probably preferable. But that's a, a playstyle choice. Rip your shields, and... Which ammo do I have left? Yeah, I got plenty. Even with no pips in the weapons capacitor, you can get uh, most of the way into a burst before you have to start worrying about it anymore. That gives you a lot of flexibility to keep your shields up and have full pips to shields while you're tanking somebody, or have full pips to engines to maintain maximum maneuverability. You do have some opportunities to put some long range DPS in, but yeah, the, the best way to use these things is really the same way you use a frag cannon just get up in their face and unload on them. You'll see that my cannons are auto-loading, but it doesn't really make much of a difference because I've only got one clip left and that's not enough to kill anything. Which is a shame, because that's ten minutes. So, uh, if you decide to put this on any ship, just be aware that you're, uh, if you're hunting in a 
If you're hunting in a hazard, you got about 10 minutes of effective ammunition time. And if you try to take this thing into a combat zone, you need to be really judicious about ammo usage because those are long fights where loiter time is a lot more valuable. So I, I'll put together a ship that's a lot more equipped to deal with shields and see how this thing plays, but I'm, I'm kind of expecting it to be a, a hard play to try to use it in any type of mercenary activities. Bounty hunting's okay. Assassination contracts are perfect. If you want to build a ship to farm assassination contracts on mission boards, this um, shot cannons are a good place to start, and they're relatively accessible. You just have to be willing to farm materials on a planet's surface, which means you probably need to think about getting horizons if you don't have it. It's possible to get these materials from asteroid mining, but you've got to be willing to put up with a lot of bullcrap along the way. That's shot cannons in a nutshell.